welcome back my friends today in this video why don't we look at a little bit of refactoring because what has happened is now you can see our quiz module has quite a few files inside it like there are two controllers there is you now we have the question service the quiz service and we have you know, repositories as well and it does make sense to you know organize them a bit so today we will look at basically you know, creating you know folders for each and every individual thing and then we will move them there and also during this process you will see how good visual studio code is in terms of refactoring files and changing the imports so again let me open up my terminal and i'll create few folders as i told you so let's go inside modules not node modules so inside source src modules quiz we will create few folders services repositories controllers and entities so controllers and entities okay so we have this now why don't we start moving a few things the controller goes into the controllers folder okay don't ask me again then our entity goes inside the entity same goes for repository question service goes inside the question service again we have the quiz controller okay then we have quiz entity as well the module we can keep outside okay and last one being the quiz service okay so what has happened now basically we have a controllers folder where we have two controllers we have two entities repositories and services so this thing is now a little more manageable and all these files have opened up why because now this is question controller what happened here so question controller was you know importing the question service and the quiz service and those folder names have changed so you can see initially it was actually question service directly coming up right so if i if i go into the quiz uh, the get diff and look at question controller okay this has been deleted and what it does is right so okay that's how you know, git basically works but what has actually happened is very simple it has changed the path so now we will save all the files and let's ensure that everything is running properly okay so the application is boot bootstrapping properly that means there is no error and so that we can just test a few things why don't we go to let's say quiz create okay basics of laravel if i create this i have id4 which is fine and then in here which package manager does laravel use <coughs> let's add quiz id4 this is fine and then get quiz by id i add 4 over here and if I send, I'm getting this. So, obviously, we are able to load the entities properly uh, based on what we have developed so far. So, that means our refactoring was correct. Okay. And obviously, you know, I feel that this way of doing things definitely helps because, you know, now the files are a little more organized and we can make sense out of them so i'm going to commit this refactor moving files to 
folders something like that and okay sorry i'll just add all the changes yes and we can push okay so this is done and now in the next video let's start looking at how we can create quiz um, options or rather the questions options because we have already created a quiz we have created questions for a quiz and now we need to create the options part of it and we will also have to handle which option is the correct option you know, in, in a question and accordingly you know we can move ahead so yeah thanks for watching guys if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel